Hey guys, welcome back to Boots and Bounty Homestead. And I am in the parking lot at Walmart because it is the closest and fastest store that I can get in and out of um, to go get what I need. So lately you have seen where we've done the soil testing kit from mysoiltesting.com and it showed that my nitrogen was really low. So I've got to get some amendments to um, put on the garden so I can get it ready for the summer season. Um, I've got some spring crops already in the ground, as you may see. You probably already have seen it by now. And I've got to get nitrogen out there to get those leafy uh, brassicas to be able to grow. And nitrogen is what makes those plants grow. So let's go in here, check out, see what Walmart here, where we live, see what it has to offer and what I can get to be able to put in my garden. It's going to be raining Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. So today is Friday. I've got to get it out either this afternoon or sometime tomorrow and get it mixed in before the rain comes. And then that way the plants and the soil can start absorbing the nitrogen and I can get more things planted. Okay, guys, I have walked around. I didn't see anything um, that I'm looking for, but let me show you something else I found and then we're going to keep looking just in case I missed it somewhere. Um, but let me show you real quick what I have found and some alternatives that you can use if you can't find exactly what you're looking for. Because remember my results said to use a 1200 by it was 2.5 pounds for every 100 square feet. So let me show you real quick what I found. All right, so right here, remember I told you the three numbers here is N, P, and K. So I'm looking for the N to be 12 at least. This is a, let me get this one out, it's easier. This is a lawn weed and feed. It does say that it kills dandelions, which I don't want. Um, that is specifically in my garden, but... I'm sorry, am I showing you? Yeah, I'm showing you the right one. Um, so this does have a weed and feed in it. Um, and it is 28 nitrogen to feed the grass. Because remember, nitrogen grows the leaves. There's other ingredients in here that I'm not specifically looking for. Because it, it says it does kill dandelions and clover. And that's what I've already... Um, I've already been picking this stuff out of my, my yard. So I, I don't want to kill that per se, not technically in my garden, but if they want to grow my garden, I want to let them grow my garden. So let's keep looking and see what else we can find. Here's another one I found. It's a triple action lawn care. It does say it prevents some weeds and all. This is another lawn weed and feed. It is a 1801. So if I had to, I could do something like this as well. And then right beside it, here is a lawn fertilizer. Uh, plus 2% iron, quickly greens, feeds longer. This one does not say anything about weeding. And this one is a 3004. So, um, this being 14 pounds, I could get by um, with using something like this. And I could go half strength on it and still get my... 12 out of it to bring my nitrogen up if I needed to. Alright guys, here I found them. And so here we have a, this is a fish fertilizer, a 511. This one right here, um, it's just an all purpose miracle grow. And if you look at the back, it's 1248. You can look right here, that's the numbers. It would 12, 4, and 8. And they have different ones. So I've just got to see what is going to benefit me best. Now down here, you'll see some of the organics. It's triple four. And then here, there's one that's three, five, six. And then here's one that is 12, six, four. 
I don't need this. I mean, 10. I don't need the 6 and the 10. I need um, just the 12. There's a small bag of triple 10 right there. Here's one that is 10, 12, 5. And here's one that is 12, 5, 7. Well, I'm going to keep looking, but I think this right here is all that my Walmart is going to have right now. But at my Walmart, we don't have a lot of the single stuff. Like, I mean, you've seen the fish fertilizer right there, but we don't have like the bone meal, the blood meal, that kind of stuff that you see people on YouTube using. Um, we don't have that. So we've got to see what we can find to use um, without having to leave town. <laughs> So it kind of is what it is. And if not, I'm thinking that lawn fertilizer down there is going to be my best bet. Let me walk outside and see if there's anything outside real quick and then determine what we're going to get. This is why I can't come to Walmart alone. Ain't that pretty? I just want to buy them all. They're so pretty. But in my garden, there's only beneficial items. And these are not beneficial. These, they can feed me if I had to. But my garden is for vegetables mostly. My flower beds are for flowers and herbs, but they have to have a purpose to go in my yard. While I'm standing over here, I'll go ahead and tell you, don't forget that anything that produces food, you can get on those EBT cards, whether it be food stamps, SNAP, um, the pandemic cards, anything like that. You can buy seeds, you can buy, well, those are rose bushes, but you can buy um, grapevines, you can buy blueberry bushes, you can buy anything that produces food on those cards so keep that in mind as you're out shopping and looking for stuff this spring and summer um, go ahead and get a jump start on that and if you have those that assistance go ahead and use it because it's the gift that keeps on giving okay guys so the only thing that I am finding is the lawn fertilizer, not the weed and feed, but the lawn fertilizer that is uh, 3004 and it is, it's 11.83. So we are going to um, go ahead and get that one because that's all I found that has what I need. I've never videoed at a store before, so this is kind of weird. Somebody just come out and they were like, so. <laughs> okay, so now I've got it. Let's go uh, check out. We'll take it home, put it on the garden, and see what it gives us later. All right, guys, we're out here in the garden. I've got the fertilizer here. This is the 3004. 3004, and this is lawn fertilizer. And I also wanted to point out. Um, that it does have 2% iron in it. So this will also help with that iron deficiency that showed up in the my soil testing. Now you can also look on the back. It will tell you um, different times of the year to plant, but this is going to be for grass, um, not necessarily for the garden. And I also wanted to point out I keep saying potassium and I am so sorry. I mean, not potassium, um, for potash. It's not potassium, it's potash for cake. Um, okay, so we've got 30% nitrogen and it doesn't have any of the phosphorus in it. Um, and then the potash is 4%. And then it has the iron as the two. So the 30 is the, the nitrogen. 
Can you guys see? 30 is the nitrogen, which is the N. The P is zero, so it's not listed on here. And then the K is the um, potash, and it's four. So that's your 30, zero, four. And then it has 2% of the iron in it. So, in my results, sorry, it's a 14 pound bag. <laughs> in my results, it said to use 2.5 or two and a half pounds of fertilizer of straight nitrogen um, per 100 square feet. Mine is 400 square feet. So, it route about, because I've got, uh, it's 16 by 24. So, my little calculator says it's 400. Um, so, with that being 2.5 pounds per 100 square feet, it's going to be 10 pounds for uh, 400 square feet. Because it's 2.5, 2.5 is 5, and then 2.5, 2.5 is 5. 5 and 5 is 10. And 10 makes 400 so 10 pounds this is a 14 pound bag so I'm gonna use almost all of it the other four pounds I'm gonna take over since all my beds are treated the same I'm gonna go ahead and take the rest of that and put it on my herbal kitchen medicinal beds at the back door and I might even put some go ahead and put some on the two center block beds that are um, on the side of the house that currently hold the wood chips. Um, that's where they're going to be breaking down for a little bit, kind of like a compost pile, but I'm not putting anything else on it. It's just going to be a wood chip kind of breaking down compost bed. So, um, since it's going to rain starting tomorrow night, I'm going to go ahead and spread this out. I may not get it tilled in or broken down into the soil at least the first two or three inches until tomorrow because as you see I'm losing light the sunsets back there <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and spread it out and I'll show you my process of doing it and then um, I'll probably go ahead and finish it up tomorrow and get it all tilled in so um, that's all I'm gonna show you guys for now I hope that I gave you some valuable information on what to look for if you can't find specifics there are other alternatives just be careful what you're looking for, like I showed you with the weed and feed. There is a weed part in there, and I don't like the word weed. Um, there's no such thing as a weed, because everything has some kind of value or God wouldn't make it. So, um, yeah, let me go ahead and spread all this out, and I guess we will see you guys next time. So, until then, bye! Now, one thing I wanted to mention, I didn't think about it while I was telling you guys what I was doing. I'm not putting any nitrogen or fertilizer in my walkways. That kind of defeats the purpose. So, right here as we come in, I didn't put any there. I did not put any between the cattle panels because I used the cattle panels for peas and tomatoes. And then I did, there's a walkway on that side, on, on that side of the cattle panel right here. So I didn't put anything right there until the third bed because the third bed I fill up because I don't have to walk through it to get to it. 
I, uh, I fill it up. So this bed right here in the middle, this one right here, I put the nitrogen on the outside, probably two thirds of it, leaving about a foot and a half walkway, which is right here, right here. And um, then I went ahead and on this bed over here, this one right here, I already have my cabbages and stuff set right here. There is kohlrabi right there. And then right beside it, right there is the radicchio. So I've already got some leafy stuff planted out here and I went ahead and put um, a little bit of extra nitrogen on the places that I already have plants. So that way they, they are um, gonna get that extra boost as they are taking the nitrogen out of the ground to grow. I put a little extra just so it can um, replenish it. Once they are done, it'll still be ready for the next season. Um, so the rest of this, and I used probably two thirds of it, so I didn't use the full 10 pounds because as you've seen, it said 1200 in my results. This is 3004. So I used less of the nitrogen fertilizer. So that way I don't absolutely just burn the ground up because plants don't need that much fertilizer uh, for nitrogen. If, if I did put the whole 10 or 14 pounds on there, it would have been just huge plants. And I don't know that I would get a whole lot of um, the fruition off of it. I don't know if the plants would produce what they're supposed to be producing because that takes the P and the K to do that. And right now those are high. So I need to get the nitrogen built up, but I don't want to burn them up to where my plants just grow really big and not produce anything. I've got this extra here that I am going to put back there on my blueberries and then go over there for finishing off the top of my herbal medicinal beds. Like I said, if I have anything left, then I'll just probably put it around front. So guys, that is it. I have amended my beds. Tomorrow I'm going to come out here, probably me and Logan and i've got one of those little hand auger things that you just stick in the dirt and turn i'm going to do that because it'll get that nitrogen about four inches from the top to four inches in the dirt and we should be good then i just have to be careful because under um, this cattle panel right here where you see this line of nitrogen fertilizer i already have sweet peas planted so i've got to be careful there as well as around the plants that i've already got in here so I will show you what this does later, and I guess I'll see you guys next time. That's it for today. Bye.